In an effort to eliminate a separate bone tapping procedure in the preparation of an osteotomy site, tapping segments were added onto the body of what are termed self-tapping implants. But is this the optimal configuration for a self-tapping design? You're watching the seating of a conventional self-tapping dental implant. As the implant is turned into the bone, the tapping segments continuously fracture off bone chips. These chips accumulate in the flute. This buildup is called crowding. As the implant is seated, crowding clogs the tapping areas with debris, reducing cutting efficiency. When clogging is maximum, high compression occurs on the untouched threads. Now look at this contrast. Blossom cutting features have been distributed along the implant. They are angled and augmented by evenly spaced crescent-shaped helical cutting segments. This configuration creates fewer, smaller, and more discrete bone chips. The chips are also evenly dispersed through channels, eliminating crowding. The elimination of crowding and the efficiency of the symmetrical tapping configuration allow the implant to be seated with much less insertion torque. Note the dramatic differences that were recorded in a controlled in vitro test. Wait a minute. Conventional wisdom would seem to indicate that lower insertion torque would translate into greater micro movement, less stability, right? Look at these stability test results. It appears the exact opposite is true. Less torque for final insertion less micro movement also. Why? To begin with, lower insertion torque is a result of greater cutting efficiency, the elimination of crowding, and less friction. Reduced micro movement is further enhanced by greater intimate bone contact, larger volume of surface area engaged with bone, and efficient tap architecture. These are all the benefits of a Blossom self-tapping implant. Blossom, redefining the self-tapping dental implant.